Uh, our next guest moved her family out of New York to Florida during the pandemic. That's Carol Moskovitz. That's what she did. And she's on the show now. What do you say to that, Carol? Will you be back in five years, Markowitz? <laughs> no, no, I won't be back. Uh, you know, it's very funny to me that Steve Kozo wrote this piece as I see him vacationing in Florida all the time. You can look <laughs> at his Instagram. He's frequently in Florida. He knows what makes Florida so great. We have the greatest governor in the country. We have a really sane way of life down there. And no, I, I oh, won't be back in New York, says, the land that is still masking toddlers today. Exactly. Steve Kozo. Uh, the guy who wrote the, the, the piece, he says, you got to pay astronomical prices for flood insurance. There's a very <laughs> slow pace of life. People don't do anything. And they're all trying yeah. to escape the summer rain. What do you say to that? Hmm. Well, I, I would say that I was back in New York last week, and I was like, why is everybody honking all the time? I, you know, there are a lot of things about New York that I really don't miss. And I, I think the things that he is highlighting are so peripheral to the lives of Floridians. I mean, flood insurance, we don't have state income tax. Like, get back to me when you guys can accomplish that in New York. Uh, I, yeah. I, I love New York. I will never talk badly about it. I will never root against it. But, I mean, I have small kids. I had to get them to a place of sanity, and Florida was that place. Yeah. I, uh as a matter of fact, I want to bring that up the subject of masking very, very young yeah. children. In New York City, parents are calling out the, the mayor because he's keeping the toddler mask mandate in yeah. place. Two to four-year-olds, they're the only ones still with a mask requirement. I honestly don't understand that. Do you? Yeah. No, and to me, that's a sign of an unhealthy society. I think when, you're, when you've done something so insane and anti-science and you continue to do it because you just can't get off that hand, you just can't stop doing this crazy thing that you've done for no reason at all, I think that's a problem. And I think it's a real problem where the majority of New Yorkers are not outraged about this. Look, there are New Yorkers fighting back against this for sure, but the majority are just going on about their lives as if we haven't just, you know, stuck the, all the pandemic... Uh, 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 restrictions on the youngest people in the society. Most places have never masked two to four year olds at all, not in 2020, not in 2021. So the fact that New York is still doing it in June 2022 says really bad things about the, my, my, my beloved city. Yeah. H have any of your children, and I know you've got young children, whilst they've been in yeah. Florida, the whole time they've been in Florida, have they ever had to wear a mask for, for school or not any, anything else? No? Not at all. They have not. I don't even know where their masks are. Uh, the only time they've worn masks uh, since we moved to Florida was on one flight back uh, to New York to visit family in March. Ever since the, the restrictions were lifted on flights, they haven't seen their masks. They don't know where they are. They're never wearing them again. And that's really what the main thing is for me here. I have a column today in, in the New York Post about masking toddlers in New York City. Yeah. And I have a response column to Steve Cuso in tomorrow's New York Post about what makes Florida so great. But those two things are deeply related. You can't have a crazy place that masks toddlers and call it the best city in the world and say that they're doing the right things because they're super not. And that's even without getting into all the other problems that New York has, like crime and so much more. Okay. Carol, I think you made your point many times over, <laughs> and you made it very well. Thank you. Carol Markowitz, thanks very much for being here. We'll see you again soon. Thanks so much. Sure thing.